Programming means basically parametriz parametrizing. So programming of encoders means the custom adaption of the encoder parameters to user-specific and application-specific circumstances. That means the user is able to parameterize the encoders in a way that it fits exactly for his application. Programming does not mean that the user has to write commands in a programming language. So let's jump into the first chapter, um, the overview over programming solutions. So basically we are going to show here with which tools or on what way encoder parameters can be adapted or data can be read out of our encoders. The first programming possibility or programming solutions are our handheld programming tools. So we have in total two different programming tools, the PGT10 Pro for the programming of incremental encoders and absolute encoders with SSI interface, and the PGT12 Pro for the programming of absolute encoders with can open interface and inclination sensors. So the programming tools basically look like this. So they both look nearly the same. So you have a pocket-sized programming tool. The encoder is connected either via adapter cable or with a so-called terminal box to the programming tool. And you can program the encoders immediately without installation of external software on a PC or something. That is one of the big advantages of this handheld programming tool. Another advantage is that you can easily use it uh, as a mo in a mobile use. So it uh, has a self-sufficient voltage supply, very low weight and very compact dimensions. The menu structure is very intuitive and you can select different menu languages. You have a large four-line display and you have also a backlight. The uh, surroundings are dark. Um, you have can do a simple encoder parameter cloning and you can exchange configurations and you can also do updates with an integrated SD card. The next programming solution is the PGT08. So you can see this uh, on the screen behind me. You can see the PGT8 which is connected via USB port to the laptop or tablet or whatever. And you also connect again the encoders um, with, a, uh, with an adapter cable or with a so-called terminal box. Um, this programming tool is for the programming of incremental encoders and also absolute encoders with SSI interface. It is PC-based um, and it has a clear graphical user interface for a simple operation. The menu structure is also very intuitive and you also can, use, uh, can select here different languages from the menu. You can also store and load configurations with this programming tool and you can do also a very simple parameter cloning of the encoders. You can exchange configurations also with the PGT12 uh, and the PGT10 using an SD card and you have also here the possibility to update on future products. The PGT08 is um, based on SOPAS, the SIG engineering tool for all different SIG sensors where you can um, parameterize and program uh, sensors from SIG and also, of course, the encoders with the PGT8. The next possibility to program encoders um, is the so-called web server. It is for the programming of absolute encoders with Ethernet IP interface. You have an active web server which is integrated in the encoder. Um, you do not need any further tools or any further software because the, the web server is running on the, on the encoder itself. Um, you have an, the, exa, the access is done with, a, with devices with web browser, for example, PC, notebook, tablet or HMI. And you have a combined equivalent access by PLC or by web server. So that means you can um, access the, the encoder with the web server and the second step with the PLC and you can just uh, do, it, do changes so um, with the tool whichever you want. The uh, operation is very simple and intuitive and a big advantage is that you do not need PLC specific no knowledge for the parameterization of the encoder. Um, the changes of the encoder configuration can be done fast and directly when the encoder is already installed in the application. Um, 
This is different to the programming tools I showed before, where you have to disconnect the encoder from the application, do the programming and then connect it again. With a web server, you can do it um, directly in the application. The next possibility um, is the progr um, programming via, um, via the PLC specific engineering tool. So this is for, um, for the programming of absolute encoders with field bus and Ethernet interfaces. The programming, as I said, is done with the engineering tool of the respective PLC. You need a device description file, um, for example, the GSTML or the EASY or the EDS file of the encoder. And this enables the implementation of the encoder in the respective engineering tool. Engineering tools are, for example, the TIA portal from Siemens or the TwinCAT from Beckhoff. You do not need any further tools and you have to do the access of the engineering tool via PC, notebook, industry PC or HMI. Additionally, you can use function blocks which support um, complex programming tasks. And also here, the changes of the encoder configuration can be done fast and directly when the encoder is already installed in the application. Another programming possibility is the so-called DIP switches. This is for the programming of incremental encoders with integrated DIP switches. The programming of the encoders is done directly by um, doing different uh, combinations of DIP switches and you do not need any further tools or any further software to do it. And the changes of the encoder um, configuration is also done directly in the application when the encoder is already installed. For, you can change here, for example, the resolution, the electrical interface, TTL or HTL, and also, also the counting direction of the incremental encoder. Another possibility is the programming um, via RS485 commands. This is for the programming of incremental encoders and absolute encoders with SSI uh, interface. Um, the programming is done directly with RS485 commands. You do not need any further tools, no further software. And it's also, the configuration is also done directly in the application. Um, an example for this, an example application for this is, for example, the format adjustment in a printing process where we have to, um, to adapt the applic application very quickly to different formats of paper. And this can be done directly with these RS485 commands. So general remarks about all these different programming solutions. Um, th this was a general overview, but the type of encoder and the encoder interface affect the programming solution, so the type of tool you can use. Of course, you cannot use the engineering tool of a, um, a PLC to, to program an incremental encoder. This has to be done with, a, for example, with a PGT-10. Um, it also influences the variety of parameterizable functions and also the availability of additional diagnostic data. With the programming tools, the programming solutions uh, we showed you, parameters can be changed but also process data, for example, the position can be read out. And you can also retrieve additional diagnostic data with these programming tools.